Hello, on this lovely Sunday. This is the day that the Lord has made. My sisters and brothers are crying. So let us rejoice. I say rejoice. Because we have made do it for the night. For joy comes in the morning. Walking in to 177 days. Labor in God's word and prayer. And fasting. Throughout the midnight hour, I began to pray, and I saw Satan, and I said, Satan, you got all my stuff, and I want it all back, in the name of Jesus, can I just be great, Satan, you got all my stuff, don't make me get ratchet, and take it to the street. Oh, but Satan, that's what you want me to be. All hood and willy-nilly in this place. But Satan, I come to tell you, I'm pressing toward the higher call in Christ Jesus. Satan, I want all my stuff. So as I began to tell Satan, I want it all back. I remember seeing a veil open. Because you know it's the flip side of everything. There's a positive and there's a negative. And on the reverse side, since how we're a reverse generation, I saw Satan peep out behind my veil. Satan, how dare you have the audacity and boldness to kick me out of my place? So Satan finally responded. And Satan said, in the name of Jesus, it said, and you said, and you were storing up your treasure in heaven with moth and rust do not grow. And he had the nerve to say, I'm just a banker and I'm holding on to it. Oh, woe is me. Satan, loose it all. Because I walk in the authority of the Almighty. According to Luke 10 and 19. Satan, you got to give me all my stuff. Most high saints of God, I tell you, God is just that great. And I had to come on and tell somebody. The only thing you got to do with the Holy Ghost boldness. Tell Satan to loose all your stuff. In the name of Jesus, loose this word. Loose this word, bring back to my remembrance. So, because you know, throughout the midnight hour, after at 12 midnight, it is the bewitched hour. Uh, demonic activity, time to cast spells and all that, whatnot. So, uh, in the name of Jesus. Okay, thank you, God. As I'm sitting there, and, you know, me and Satan just going back and forth throughout the midnight hour. I heard there's a blessing. It's financial blessings coming your way. And that, Satan had the nerve to swoop in just that fast with that within a micro nano of a man and stirred up a, a confrontation and said, I'll take it all. But it's like he said, he'll fight for you. Or he'll fight against you. When you're a child of God and a believer, you know who you are. He knows his name. And he began to say, I'll cast you out. I'll kick you out. But the enemy meant it for evil, but God meant it for your good. Because he says, it's some people, if I don't get it, and you know if I get caught, I got to return back seven times four. Greed is in the building. And greed came to steal, kill, and destroy, and destroy everything. So I just took what he came to get before he even got it in the name of Jesus. But an intervention came in. And I was allowed. Because it's almost like it's a valley of a shadow. Just that, just that, just that quick moment in the midnight hour. Say so that I'll take it all. Not only that, I'll take your life. That's how I, 
Satan operates. He'll, he'll either work for you or he'll work against you. And if you don't know who you are as a believer and a child of God, it's just that fast. That just that fast with the blink of an eye, micro than no minute, it'll be gone. So as I'm continuing to pray, I said, wait a minute, something's not right. This is not right because I know God just told me. So if God's word should not return unto him void. Say, what's going on? You show me what, what just happened. And I, as I begin to look into the realms, as I begin to pray into the realms, I begin to see. Not only was it uh, envy and jealousy, I'm going to tell you something. And I'm not glorifying the kingdom of, of hell, but I remember a while back God says to preach the kingdom of hell. Because whenever a financial blessing comes, whenever, and it's, and it's very rare that um, you will hear a prophecy come out of my mouth or something pertaining to a financial blessing. Because God chastened me about that. Because he says, because whatever you prophesy, if you go read the book of Ezekiel, Isaiah, and Jeremiah, especially in Ezekiel, whenever God said he sent his prophets to go prophesy, he was prophesying against something. Prophecy is like the foretelling and foretelling of coming of something. But whenever you are going through, and even the biblical text tell you, if you keep my commandments, then the blessings of the Lord will be upon you. And we're in that phase and in that season because you've shown yourself to be approved and you've been tried and tested on all the end. And he will, he'll remind you that I told you, I know things is looking rough. I know things is uh, looking shaken up. I know you're being tossed through and forth and hell is breaking out on all sides of you in the name of Jesus. But you got to learn how to truly walk by faith and not by sight in the name of Jesus. There is a blessing on the other side of this in the name of Jesus. Just like when God told the children of Israel to go and possess the promised land in the name of Jesus. They didn't go right over into the promised land. Huh? They had to do some war and they had to do some fighting and they had to do some plugging up and they had to do some rooting up in the name of Jesus. They had to move some stuff out of the way in the name of Jesus. It's some stuff in your way in the name of Jesus. Find that up. And you know the enemy, he's looking to seek in whom he can devour in the name of Jesus. He know you know who you are and your authority. But he don't got no new tricks, so he's going to continue to try and test you on all ends in the name of Jesus. But I looked, and as I, as I looked, it wasn't me that he was fighting again. So you got to know how to war effectively and know what's going on around you in the name of Jesus. Because if not, you'll lose all your stuff <laughs> just within a micro blink, a minute of it. Just when your eye wink just like that, it'll be gone. You'll wake up, but don't wake up. And I don't even know how that operates. But you won't, you won't be, you won't be here. You won't be in the physical. And you, you know what I'm saying? You'll think that you are and you're not. Cause you know, some say that when they leave, they're they're rolling through and rolling, think that they're still here, but they're not here in the name of Jesus. And it can happen just that fast if you don't know who you are in the kingdom of, of God and the authority that you possess. But what like God says, once your name is written in the Lamb books of life, it does not matter. Because he has you in your hand. And especially whenever you he know that it is a destiny word spoken out of your life. It shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus, most high saints, God had to come on and tell somebody as we walk in in this time and season of labeling God's word and prayer. Just let him know. Satan, I want all my stuff. And whenever Satan, I'm going to tell you whenever, when it happens, whenever Satan begins to loose this stuff, <laughs> it's going to get ugly. It's going to get real ugly before it gets good. When ain't things going to break around you, you don't know why. He's loosing all your stuff in the name of Jesus. Most high saints of God, y'all be blessed. I love the Lord. And I love growing in Christ. And I love growing with the body of Christ. Those who love the Lord. We are in covenant, sisters and brothers in Christ. And I look forward to the future house of God, the latter day church, where we can all come together in corporate praise and worship. One body, one mind, one spirit. Because Satan has got to lose all our stuff.